We can't rely on the coast to give us the energy. We can't rely on the fake sound. It's got to be, you know, all of us collectively. Trey Young unleashed his scoring on the boss of the Celtics Wednesday night. Now the Celtics were looking to defend home court against the Atlanta Hawks and playing on their second night of a back-to-back -back without Kemba Walker and Marcus Smart. After leading by six points at halftime, the Hawks continued to surge ahead. But down the stretch, the Seas closed the gap, and that's when Trey Young went off, answering with a 40-point performance to help lead his team to a 122 to 114 victory. I thought that we tried a bunch of different guys on him. Um, you know, obviously we switch a lot to try to guard the three-point line on the other guys, to take away pops, to take away um, you know opportunities for him to turn the corner and then either spray it for lobs or spray it around. And at times I thought we did a decent job of that. We also missed some. He made us pay when we missed. We gotta bring the energy from within, of course. Having our fans in the, in the arena would definitely give us a lot of boost in energy, but the reality is we don't have them right now, so we've got to do it collectively as a group. And um, we just got it's, it's got to come from all 15 guys. We can't rely on the coach to give us the energy. We can't rely on the fake sound. It's got to be you know all of us collectively. You know, it's like the Embiid game, right? If he gets 42, he crushes you. If he gets 30, you're right there. And I think that that's more what you were looking at with Trey. You know, we tried all our guards, our guys off the bench, all on him. And um, you know, he's just a tough cover. The Celtics will get their shot at redemption against the Hawks as they face the team again this week with a matchup on Friday night before heading back out on the road. Closing out for Celtics.com, I'm Amanda Flugrad.